Yo, YouTube, uh, what's up? Um, it's JREX here, and i um, going to discuss another topic about, um, about shy guys. How shy guys can't get the girl. Um, like, you know, um, I get a lot of, I get a lot of talk from my friends, and, um, my friends, um, they, they diss on me because, um, I don't make the first move on girls that I, I wait on girls to make the first move on me. And they, they diss on me for that. They're like, hey man, you got to be a man, grow a pair of balls and ask the girl out. You shouldn't be waiting for the girl to ask you out. And it's, it's funny, that's usually what guys say, that um, they say you need to grow a pair of balls and make the first move. Um, that's just how society thinks. They assume the guy is supposed to make the first move. Um, it's like, um, I do have a friend right now, and we're both agreeing on the same subject right now, like, both of us right now, we're waiting for a girl to make the first move on us. Um, like, we both we, we both got fed up with ask, making the first move on girls, so now we're both going to be waiting for a girl to make the first move on me. Uh, um, other than that, though, the rest of all my, all my other guy friends, they're like, hey, be a man, and you make the first move. That's how my other guy friends are. But um, it's not that I don't have a pair of balls. I do. I mean, <laughs> kick me in the balls, I'll kneel over in pain. I'll be hurting. So I do got a pair of balls. Um, why won't I make the first move? Um, I'm pretty much fed up with making the first move. I'm sick of it now. Uh. I have been making the first move. I'm pretty much tired of it now. Um, I'm just gonna wait for a girl to make the first move on me now. Um, you know, I, I'm not in a rush to find my true love. I'm not in a rush. I'm only 20 years old. I got like another 30 years left in me before I become all old, gray, wrinkly. Got another 30 years in me left to find my love. You know, start a family and all that. Got plenty of time. I'm only 20. So, until then, I'm going to be waiting. Uh, I always thought it like this. Um, you know, honestly, I want a girl who is not afraid to walk up to me and tell me her feelings. I want a girl who is not afraid to just hug me and kiss me without me trying to do anything, you know. I, uh, I would, I would like a girl to ask me out on a date. I would like a girl to say I'm, you know, good looking. To say I'm attractive for once. Um, I'm sure a lot of other guys feel this way too, um, because um, I. Like I said, talk to other guy friends. Like my other friend, he would like a girl to do that to him once. So, um, uh, I mean, yeah. Um, I I've talked to girls at my work, and I've gotten the same. I've heard the same thing. Like all of them, they've said the same thing. Um, it's tradition guys are supposed to make the first move. They're supposed to do everything. They're supposed to be the, the pursuers. <laughs> That's too bad. That pretty much leaves the shy guys hanging, you know? It screws the shy guys over because shy guys are not meant for that kind of stuff, you know? They're not meant to pursue because they're shy. So basically the confident guys, they get it good. The shy guys get fucked over because of that 
that uh, close-minded way of thinking in girls. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, like I said, I used to be in Korea, and it's like complete. It's like totally different over there in Korea. In Korea, the girls, they gr the girls pursue the men. Um, it's totally reverse. You you look at the movies too. It's just completely reversed. The the girls are chasing the guys, and it and it's the guys being chased. It's just completely reversed. And interesting enough, there is um Valentine's Day in Korea, and in Korea on Valentine's Day, the girl is actually supposed to make the first move. The girl actually walks up to the guy she likes and gives him a Valentine's gift. The girl, so, oh, that's awesome. Um, and then the month after that, on March, White Day, um, the guy has to get a more expensive gift for the girl that gave him the Valentine's gift. So, huh. I guess because of that, it's sort of like, sort of like affects like how the girls think. Because, I mean, that holiday alone encourages girls to make the first move, because Valentine's Day, you give your gift to the guy that you like for girls. So, huh. It's very different in Korea. Korea, girls are chasing guys. It's, it's too bad it's not like that here in America. Mm -hmm. Too bad. Um... It's it's just you know, girls. If you just wait all the time, like I said, shy guys they don't have the courage to uh, ask a girl out. You know, it's very tough for them because they're afraid of rejection so much to the point where they just don't want to do it. They can love they can like a girl so much, but they simply will not ask them out because they're afraid of getting rejected. They're afraid of the girl saying she's taken, you know? Just destroying the feelings that guy has for the girl. That's how shy guys are. Oh, wait, no. Um, what was I? I guess, um, in a way, I guess you can call me shy when it comes to making the first move on girls. Um, rejection, it, it hits me bad. Uh, I'm afraid that the girl I like will not, will say she doesn't like me back, and I'm afraid the girl will say she's taken. Uh, just makes me afraid to do it because I don't want my feelings to be rejected. Uh, I want them to be taken, and I don't want to risk, don't want to make a risk like that. And I'm sure there's plenty of other shy guys out there like that too, who are like that. Mm. Like I have a, um, what's it? Can't tell where. That's funny. Whatever. Um, but whatever. I have shy guys. Sh I have shy guys who are friends, in who are in Korea right now. They are getting all the girls. You know, they are getting all kinds of girls. The girls are doing all the chasing, and you know, the shy guys are just getting it all. I'm just amazed at that. You know. I have shy guys, shy, I have friends who are shy guys in Korea, and they're just, they have the girls all over them in Korea, and I'm just like, damn, they got a good, um, but since I'm a shy guy in America, too bad for me, I got fucked over, um, uh, you know, because of my shyness, uh, and, and the fact that I'm in America. I'm, I've lucked out. Mm -hmm. So it's too bad. 
I don't know where this way of thinking came from. I don't know how it all started out in America, how guys are supposed to make the first move. But it's just how it is. It's it's too bad really. So um since this way is taught, girls assume guys are going to make the first move. Yeah, you're gonna get guys making the first move on you, but the only kind of guys that you're gonna be getting are the confident guys, the cocky guys, or the um the players, the jackasses, the cocky douchebags. That those are the kind of guys girls are going to get because those are the kind of guys that usually have confidence who are willing to make the first move and the shy guys get left out in the dust the nice good shy guy who will treat the girl well they get left out on the dust because they're shy and they don't have the confidence to make the first move on the girl and the girl is waiting for guys to make the first move on her and that girl ends up getting the players, the um, the cocky guys, the, the thugs, you know, that's what they pretty much get, because those are the kind of guys that have the confidence to make the first move on girls. Not all guys are like that, there's going to be a couple good ones out there that have confidence and treat their girl well, but then there's a lot of other guys who have confidence and are players and treat their girls like sex objects pretty much shy guys who treat their girl well they get no girl because they're shy don't have the confidence to make the first move and the girl isn't doing anything either so yep yep do bad so yeah, there you go. Hmm. I think that's all I have to say, pretty much. Mm -hmm. If you girls are wondering why you're always getting all these shitty guys, it's probably because you keep going out with those players. The players, the cocky guys, those kind of people, you know? It's because you're going out with those kind of guys because you waited for a guy to make a first move on you and you got a guy it's just you got a guy that won't treat you well like the player mm -hmm. so don't be hating don't be hating don't be calling guys pigs you know don't be calling pigs slobs or any shit like that Maybe if you started making the first move, you could get a shy guy who would treat you well, take care of you, you know, love you, all that good stuff. Not treat you like shit, treat you like a sex object, just treat you as another girl to fuck. Another point. It's too bad we have this kind of thinking in America not sure where it all started from uh, too bad too bad really um, and it's too bad I believe Disney Disney is probably one of the main culprits Disney definitely you take a look at Aladdin Hercules fucking all those Disney movies what do you see the guy chasing the girl it's always like that god damn it I mean, come on, guys. Have some pride. Let the girl chase you for once, really. Oh, shit. Uh, but, um, yeah. Watching all those Disney movies as little kids, just brainwash the girls into thinking, oh, this is how guys are supposed to behave. They're supposed to be chasing us like we're some sort of valuable treasure, like we're some kind of valuable object that must be chased after, and finally seized mm -hmm. uh... yep yep pretty much that's all i gotta say uh, shy guys hang in there hopefully someday you'll meet a girl who has confidence and is willing to ask you out Just 
hang in there. There should be a couple out there in America. Thank you. Bye.